Day two, 100 day, 10 minutes a day Taiko challenge. It's late here, almost 12 o'clock. I'm trying to get this uh, video in just before it becomes tomorrow. But you know, sometimes life gets in the way, but try to keep practicing every day, 10 minutes. Um, so we're just gonna cement what we talked about yesterday, having the end of the stick and holding it with your, with your um, ring finger creating a very clean pivot point out of the way a very clean pivot point and so and getting that bounce just a very simple pivot point up the end just there and checking that by understanding that it's be able to bounce and you'll notice that also lifting with the same pivot point. Lifting, lifting a little bit forwards as well, you'll notice like a reverse, reverse curve. It's a scoop. You don't have to do that if you're not comfortable yet, but at least try if you want rotational talk about being rotational and this is a reverse reverse curve reverse exponential curve which is a whole different thing but if you can't do that at least do rotational up and down learn how to lift with you know a gun sign so it's just the pivot point use the rubber band as we talked about if you're not comfortable I have it on my weaker weaker hand Again, you can do a rotational, rotational lift, which is just your wrist, just sort of turning the ulna and the radius. The reason to, to bounce is to make sure it's relaxed and you're not using, not choking anything, it's just the one point. So, Swap back to swap back to the reverse curve, and look at that. basically going forward and lifting, lifting your elbow. Make sure there's some elevation with your elbow. Obviously, you can lift your elbow up like this, but obviously that's not natural. If you look at this, this is a pivot point. That's a pivot point that we have now. Just a single pivot point. Obviously, you can lift that up. Then when you come down, there's two pivot points moving, that going down and that going down. But obviously, lift it up like this is very unnatural. So obviously, going forward to lift elevation. The simplest way to get elevation from this pivot point is to go forward and lift up. And then you got the elevation. And remember, without without two pivot points, is not an exponential curve and it's not you know you're not getting a whip so you know why people say lift lift forward that's that's why you know, just focusing on getting that point elevated from the original original level of the pivot and you can see that actually becomes a reverse kind of curve if you have that same single pivot again if you're not comfortable with that you just want to work on the pivot just go rotational lift your wrist just lift your wrist make sure when you hit it's gun sign gun sign gun sign rotational if you want, change the speed. So we'll do single, single speed, and then we'll do double speed. And back to single. Rotational, just lifting, 
the wrists. And double time. Make sure you keep it relaxed. It's really hard to keep relaxed. Really hard to keep relaxed while you're doing double time. Make sure there's no tension. And you can't go back to single. Try to feel. Try to feel what it feels like at the end when you hit. There's no tension, it just bounces off. One pivot point, just the ring finger, just the ring finger, just the ring finger. hits, it's bouncing, you're transferring energy from in this, in this instance, the rotational alma and radius into the up and down wrist movement. Your fingers and your pivot point is not, is not the end of the energy, it's not the end of the movement, yeah? Just to transfer some energy from the rotational alma and radius bone into an up and down. The end is the end of the stick. So now the double time. Again, feeling when it hits, it's relaxed. Focus on the energy, focus on the feeling when it hits. band if you want. One pivot point. Relax. When it hits. Back to normal. Swap to lifting the elbow as the pivot point. Between lifting of the elbow as a pivot point or elevation of the elbow as a lift pivot point, and then this kind of reverse, reverse natural reset into a rotational. So rotational, no elevation of the elbow as you can see. So I was doing a double time with the elbow and then rotational, uh, sorry, rotational double time, single time with the elbow, but we can do, do it slowly. I'm doing elbow, maybe just one hand, elbow, rotational, elbow, just rotational, elbow, just wrist, elbow, wrist, elbow, wrist. Elbow, wrist. Uh, nine minutes now, so we can do catching it if you want at the end. So, so catch, catch, bounce, 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 catch, relax. Bouncing and catching, bouncing and catching, bouncing and catching. Don't stop it like this. That creates tension. So bounce like the like before. So if you're doing doubles, it's just bounce, bounce, catch. Bounce, bounce, catch. Bounce, bounce, catch. Bounce, bounce, catch. So just do bounce, catch. Bounce, catch. You kind of go forward a touch. 
when you catch, bounce catch, bounce catch, bounce catch, very important, bounce catch, bounce catch. All right, that's 10 minutes for day two. So three concepts, rotational on the one pivot point, lifting elevation of the elbow by going forward in a reverse curve fashion. And third is when you when you can bounce catch. Bounce catch. Bounce catch. Don't stop when you hit. Then you're creating tension before you hit for no reason. Bounce catch. See you tomorrow, day three.